Lisa Quashes, a member of our Newport Ritchie congregation. She's a proficient writer, not only writes plays for our poem plays, uh, she's written a number of books, some really good books, uh, Angel in the Shadows and all Angels series. Uh, very, very uh, well done. I uh, think we have some of her cards out on the back foyer. And um, she goes by Lisa Grace, so you can look her up online, Lisa Grace, Amazon, books, and that type of thing. Um, and I think you'll enjoy the play. And so if we can have all our players, our poor players, come up front. We will introduce them. Check, check. Yes, turn your mics on, right? Those that have the cordless mics, turn them on. Okay. So we have over on stage left, right? Is that how you do it? By their viewing or my viewing? Their viewing? Is that right? Okay, stage left is. Esther Asparagus. <laughs> yes, and that is from, uh, oh, also known as Karen, right? And then Lorraine, and can anyone tell what Lorraine is? A blueberry, right, she's Vashti the blueberry, that's right, very good. Okay. And then we have Jaden and Nicholas. Can anyone tell what they are? <laughs> they are vegetables. They're green, but what are they? What did you say? Who said it here? Peas. That's right. They are peas. That's right. They are the guard peas. The pea guards. The pea guards. That's right. Two peas in a pod there. Okay. And then we have the king. Who needs a crown? Where's his crown? It's over there. Okay. Not yet. Not yet, okay. Yeah. Is Larry the Can anyone tell what he looks like? The cucumber, that's right, that's right. Larry the King Cucumber. Okay. And then uh, Mordecai is a not a strawberry. What? Tomato, that's right. He is Bob the Tomato Mordecai. Very good. And then we have a couple of beets. Beets, that's right. Beets. Beauty queen. Yeah, Cheryl and Angela are the beets. And then we have, all the way on the left, is Otto. Anyone tell what he is? A hot dog, right. So that's right. He's a non kosher hot dog. So who is he? Who is he? Hey, man! Okay. So with that, yes. You ready? Oh, they got something. Oh, and Erin is our. Two girls, that what it is, right? Scene girl. Scene Sing. Sing girl, right. Yeah. Have we got a show for you. Feel free to sing along. Squash can make you smile If you like to watch with potatoes Up and down the produce aisle <clears throat> Excuse me, have we got a show for you?
Larry, what's your favorite story from the scriptures? Uh, oh, I got it. The one where King David comes driving his turbo Corvette, adjusting the air conditioning to full blast, and the Maccabees singing the plum song on the radio. That's not in the scriptures. Oh, maybe I saw that one on YouTube. I'm sure King David would have loved a Corvette, air conditioning, and the Maccabees. But he was born to be a king and a warrior in a different time. God had a special plan for his life. Oh, I remember someone in the scripture where God had a special plan for her life. Jezebel. No, that's not it. Delilah. No, wait. Esther. Yeah, Esther. Yes, Esther was born for a very special time, and we celebrate her story at Purim. Hey, Bob, today is Purim. Maybe we should tell her story. Good idea, Larry. I want a sandwich with extra pickles. Another sandwich, Your Majesty? You've eaten at least four a day while you celebrated a 180-day feast. Now, during your private party, you want another sandwich? Are you sure? When I told you to key, help me watch my waistline, I didn't really mean for you to do it. I don't look like a cucumber yet. I want another sandwich. Yes, Your Majesty. Tell Vashi to make me a sandwich now. Oh, and I want to make everyone jealous. She's very beautiful, you know. I want to show her off her finest traits. Tell her to come wearing her vest and her shoes. After all, this is Shushan party because we're in Shushan. Yes, Your Majesty. Your Royal Highness Vashti, the king would like a sandwich with extra pickles. And when you deliver the delicacy, you must wear only your apron and well, you must wear your best shoes. Now, it's the middle of the night and I've taken off all my makeup and my shoes. My face is naked. Tell him he can make his own sandwich. Vashti said, <clears throat> make your own sandwich. Uh. You can't have the queen disrespect you like that. You must get rid of her and send her to a different island. All veggies are technically for the fruit. The dissipated queen must be sent to be pickled at once. Yes, you are right. Send her away and get me my sandwich first. Vashti was such a pretty blueberry. She could make a great sandwich. I'll miss her. I really do, Heyman. Testing, testing. Hey, hey, man. All right. King, we'll send our decree for all the pretty girls with great sandwich making skills to come to the palace. We will have a sandwich making competition and you can pick the best one. I get to try all the sandwiches and pick which sandwich maker I like best. Is that what you mean, Heyman? <laughs> yes, King. Oh, and I like girls who brush their hair. Put that in there too, Heyman. Boo. 
Do you have any other requirements for the new queen, your majesty? Two's enough. I don't want to be too picky. All pretty girls in the kingdom who can make a great sandwich and have nicely brushed hair must come to the palace? The king will choose the best to be queen? Why, Esther, that's you. But I don't want to make sandwiches for the king. I heard he likes women to keep their shoes on. If they come for you, you mustn't tell about your Jewish heritage. Promise me. He won't come for me. He's probably going to pick a candied carrot or maybe one of those ears of corn with a long blonde silk. I'm too spear-shaped to draw any attention. <laughs> Not to worry, Uncle. You need to promise. I will do as you say. I promise. Come with us, miss. It's time for you to see the king. Now? <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> you make me stand in line behind all those other sandwich makers, and all of a sudden, you want me to see the king? Uh, yes. Twelve months. Long, awful months. How I miss my people. I'm not like the others here. And I miss Mordecai Bob more than anything. He's the best uncle and asparagus. Now think about this. He's in Pato and I'm asparagus. The best uncle and asparagus could ever have. I'm not ready. You must come now. You must come now. But I have to find my hairbrush. Where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 oh, in my hairbrush. You must come now. Don't forget your sandwich. Oh, oh, this is the one. They're yummy. They're yummy? Have you had too much fruit juice this morning, sir? I only count one prospective queen in the throne room. Yeah, yeah, they're perfect. The sandwich and the sandwich maker. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Give me the crown.
We can assassinate the king, and then we can rule the land. Let's do it this week as we come through the city. We could get lost in the crowd then. Yeah. What weapons should we employ? We'll dice them. Slice them. Juice them. Marinate them. Zeratini sauce them. Ooh, I like that one. I'll supply the yogurt and the lemon juice. Yeah, yeah, and I'll bring the garlic and the dill. Ooh, what a plan. Please, you must deliver this message to Esther. Talk into the mic. Esther, I don't know. No, Esther. Esther Asparagus? The Queen? Oh, that Esther, the pretty one with the shimmery green complexion. Okay, give it to me. Servant, you must warn the king. Have him send the guards to arrest Figpin and Tarshish. They've created a plot to kill him. <coughs> gotcha, you two miserable beats. Have you seen today's menu? You're on the menu. You're on it. <laughs> Mordecai. You are to bow to me. Certainly you heard about my promotion. I hold authority of all the princes. All are commanded to pay homage to me, including you, you red-faced salad topper. I only bow to my God, Haman. I will find a way to make you pay for insolence, you son of a legume. Oh, yeah, okay. Your Majesty. Yes, Haman. <laughs> There's a peculiar ilk of produce living in our land who would like to destroy your kingdom and all your mighty works. No, who would dare do such a thing? They call themselves non GMOs. <laughs> we don't do the word Jews. How anymore. do we prevent this from happening, Haman? <laughs> Sign this proclamation on the 12th of Adar. All the guilty produce, those who could, would do such a thing, will be eliminated. Problem solved. Good idea, Amen. Oh, build it. He tells it. Hold it. Just say it. Hold it. One second. Hold it. Remember to build a tremendous vat. I plan to use it to marinate that ripe old thin skinned Mordecai. Post this proclamation at city gate where Mordecai, the non GMO, sits. On the 12th of Amar, 
eliminate all Jews? Oh no! Oh no, oh no! Uncle Mordecai, I'm so happy to see you. I don't know. I have to tell you something about the evil boogeyman, Haman. He has tricked the king into signing this proclamation to eliminate all the non-GMOs. You must speak to the king and have him change this law. I can't just walk in to see the king. If I approach him without an invitation and he doesn't extend his royal scepter, I could be pickled or worse. What if he chooses to have me steamed? Don't think you will escape this rule. Maybe you were made queen for such a time as this. You must speak to the king. And remember, God is bigger than that boogeyman Haman. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Okay, Mordecai, wait. Wait. Have all the people fast and pray for three days. I will too. Then I will make the king the biggest and best sandwich he has ever had. God is bigger than the boogeyman. He's bigger than Godzilla or the monsters on TV. Oh, God is bigger than the boogeyman. And he's watching out for you and me. Don't hurt my beautiful queen. What do you need, my luscious lady? I would like to invite you and your highly regarded appointee to a banquet tonight. I want you to try a sandwich I have made in honor of you and Haman. That would be wonderful. We will be there and hope the sandwiches has extra pickles. <laughs> Same bad thing. Up to the bank with them. <laughs> Don't you think it's kind of sick that we're eating sandwiches with lettuce and tomato on them? That was the best sandwich ever made in Shushan. What is it you would like, my queen? I will give you up to half my kingdom for a sandwich like that. (gasps) I would like for you to come again for another sandwich banquet tomorrow night. And uh, then I will make my request. It would please me also if you would again invite Haman. I can't sleep. Even Esther's delicious sandwich didn't do the trick. Read to me the chronicles of all the great things I have done for my people. Here's a great deed that was done for you, Mordecai. Your royal minister stopped the murder plot. Who were they going to murder? You. You who? You, King Larry the Cucumber Xerxes. Read to me how I rewarded him for doing such a magnificent thing. You didn't reward him, O King. How did you know I couldn't sleep, Haman? I saw the servant leave Esther's tower to bring you a sandwich. May I be of assistance, O king? 
Yes. How would you reward a valuable service done to the king? Uh -huh. Okay, here we go on this side. Okay. He must mean me. I always show up at times of distress whenever a sandwich is being delivered. I'm the most valuable royal second to none in this kingdom. I would take the man the king wishes to honor and put him on your mightiest steed. I would have him wear your crown, your cape, your ring. I would parade him through the streets for everyone to see. And I have a servant calling out, this is the man the king greatly honors. Marvelous. I was just going to make up a sandwich, but I like your idea better. Go find Mordecai and do all the things to him. And since it was your idea, you could be the man to lead him through the streets. Hold it. You got to get all the good digging your time. This is a man the king wishes to honor, greatly honor. This is a man the king greatly wishes to honor. This is a man the king greatly wants to honor. This is a man the king wants to honor right here. This is a man the king wants to greatly honor right over here. Let's go, giddy at. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. This is a man the king wants to greatly honor. This guy, not me. Okay. Good. That sandwich was even better than yesterday. All those extra pickles really hit the spot. What is your request, my queen? You may still have up to half my king. There is someone who wishes to liquidate me and my people. Who would do such a thing? Who would want to compost my queen? The horrible man who wrote the proclamation against the non-GMO, the Jews. The same man who was so bold that he built a vat where he plans to boil Mordecai, my cousin. It's none other than Haman! How, how dare he trick me! You, you're the... Despicable Haman! Please. I, got I had a storm. I just stopped off stage. Oh. Get away from my queen, guards! Now boil Haman! Sorry about that. Not, not too much salad dressing. But, oops, don't take that. <laughs> but what about the decree, my king? You cannot rescind it. Don't worry, my tender sprout. I won't let you end up in a tossed salad. Now that I've appointed Mordecai the new prime minister, he can handle this unpleasant situation. I've got it. I'll create a decree that grants the Jews permission to defend themselves against their enemies. With all the media hype, everybody knows the Queen and I are non-GMO Jewish. They know we'll defend ourselves, no problem. God saved us, my sweet Esther. 
Haman is boiled and his sons are boiled. And the enemies of the king are destroyed. Would you like to hear the letter I've penned to all the Jews and non GMO Jews in the kingdom? I would. Let all the non GMO Jews of the kingdom celebrate God's intervention with an annual holiday to commemorate these amazing events. Going forward, we will celebrate the 14th and the 15th days of the month of Adar. God turned our sorrow into joy, and we shall celebrate with feasting and with giving gifts to the poor. Hag Sameach. That's a great idea, Uncle. I need to tell you something. You were right. I was born for such a time as this, and God is bigger than the boogeyman. Yay! <laughs> the end. God is bigger than the boogeyman. He's bigger than Godzilla or the monsters on TV. Oh, God is bigger than the boogeyman. And he's watching out for you and me. So are you frightened? No, not really. Are you worried? Not a bit. I know whatever's gonna happen, that God can handle it. I'm sorry that I scared you when you saw me on TV. Well, that's okay, because now I know that God is taking care of me. Watch it. Watch it. I'm trying to turn off the mic and it... You're not going to shoot us now, are you? Yes. <laughs> we get the blueberry wig. Okay. Yeah. Not that bad of a guy, am I? Wait, 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 wait. You can't tell me how to do it. I'm supposed to be in the crowd. Yeah. Hold, hand, hold hands, guys. The big bow. One, two, three. Yeah.